know what? It, it, it always kills me when, when black people work hard and they're successful. It's usually a lot of your own black people that are quick to say stuff like, you sold your soul to the devil and all that. I remember one time I was talking on camera and I think I did like this, where it's a habit for me to actually do, I, if I'm talking and I'm pointing, I probably point like that or that or that. It's just, in my comment section, I had sold my soul and now my channel was going to grow rather fast. My channel began to grow rather fast, but it wasn't because I had sold my soul. And my channel began to grow rather fast because I was putting in long hours, right? So, it brings us to the story now. Beyonce and Jay-Z, on the run to tour, earned a quarter of a billion dollars. Yes, that's billion with a B. Now, talk about a couple going and getting that damn money together, a billion dollars before I go any further let me say this a lot of y'all out there will never experience that because you too fickle understand you too fickle it's always on to the next one for you these two have been together forever Beyonce been hot forever and Jay-Z been hot in the game forever so and I mean Beyonce been hot forever like so anyway the numbers are in Beyonce and Jay-Z on the run tour was a massive success not that we had any doubts but Weeks after the World Trek wrapped up in Seattle, Billboard reports that the Carters' co-headlining event racked in $253.5 million. About $144 million more than what the original one earned in 2014. <laughs> this is crazy. I can't imagine what happened, but they went out on the first one, and then they saw the things that went wrong that needed tweaking. They saw the legs that they took, and they were like, okay, that city wasn't a success. Don't do that anymore. Let's focus more of our energy in this city right here because they ate it up. Maybe we could play double dates or even three dates in this city right here, scrape all that money up, and then head over to this place. That I'm sure better lighting, more whatever, better promotion, whatever they did, they tweaked it. And it was because of hard work. They were able to earn an additional 144 I love when black people could sit down and talk numbers like these. $144 million more than what part one made. That's success. The tour kicked off in early June and went on to make 18 stops in Europe, followed by 30 more in North America. Now, I must tell you that this takes a lot of work. You got to think about rehearsals, you got to think about coordination, you got to think about all these kind of things, everything being right. And then you got to think about your personal issues also, because it's a couple and you know couples fight. Everything ain't always peachy out in the front, but to get out there every night and make it happen every single night. Yo, babe, I got a headache, my nose stuffy, my stomach hurt, I don't feel good. Still got to go out there and rock the show, right? You can't cancel a show because of any small anything. So, kudos to Jay-Z and Beyonce, man. This is a real team right here. This is motivation right here. The latter leg was produced by the release of the couple's Everything Is Love album, a nine-track effort that recently won an Album of the Year award at the BET Hip Hop Awards, and I didn't even know that. Billboard reports that Bay and Jay's tour, which featured special guest DJ Khaled and Chloe X. Hall, or Halle, whoever that is, sold 2,177,000 tickets over its fourth month run over its four month run with each show grossing an average of 5.28 million dollars wow the most lucrative stop was the two night event at Atlanta's Mercedes-Benz Stadium grossing check it out two nights me and wifey step on stage two nights and gross $14.1 million for two nights. One of the most memorable moments for me on the On The Run 2 tour was the Berlin show at Olympia Stadion, the site of the 1936 Olympics, Bay said in her September Vogue cover story. This is a site that was used to promote the rhetoric of hate, racism, and divisiveness. 
and it is the place where Jesse Owens won four gold medals, destroying the myth of white supremacy. Less than 90 years later, two black people performed to a packed, sold-out stadium. When Jay and I sang our final song, we saw everyone smiling, holding hands, kissing, and full of love. To see such human growth and connection, I live for these moments. The Underrun Tour 2 Tour is up for several Billboard Live Music Awards, including Top World Tour and Top US Tour. Now, that's what I am talking about. And I can only imagine that they're going to make even more money off of this. Reason being, they're about to put it on, say, pay-per-view or something like that, where those of us who weren't uh, lucky enough to see the whole tour and different legs of the tour are going to be able to do so right from our living rooms. Watch and see. It's SoFlow TV, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. Did they sell their souls to the devil for fame and fortune? Or were they just two hard-working people that got together a long time ago and made up their mind that they weren't going to leave each other, but they were going to really build an empire together? And they've put every effort into doing so, and that is exactly what we're witnessing. Leave your comment in the comment section below. I want to hear what y'all got to say. I'm out. Peace.